Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got an email about falling off the wagon and losing focus. This is a topic definitely that I, that I talk about quite a bit. It's real easy to become demotivated, especially when you've achieved some level of success. So I thought I'd read this email and, and talk a little bit about this because this is something that I think we'll all struggle with. It, it's I struggle with it. It happens to me at, at various times and it, it's tough, right? It, it's tough when you reach some level of success and you really want something and you're motivated to get that thing and then you reach it and you get there and then where do you go? Then it's hard to continue to have that hunger and continue to have that drive. So this is definitely a problem I'm familiar with. All right, so the email. John, I f finally, I really appreciate all of the content, or firstly, I really appreciate all the content you uh, opt up for free and how much you have motivated me and a lot of other people. Well, thank you for that. I've been able to multiply my yearly earnings 4X. <laughs> I got married, I moved from Brazil to Berlin and started working with Elixir, all of these unthinkable things to me one year ago. And you have inspired uh, me in many ways ways to believe I was even capable of this. But the strangest thing happened. I suddenly lost a lot of my motivation. I feel very unfocused and embarrassed to admit I'm going getting through with two or three Pomodori a day of focused work. So, okay, that's usually eight to 10 is, is, is what, I, what I mean for. So, so just to give you some context, if you, if you don't know what he's talking about, about Pomodori, you can see how I plan my week, this video, and that sort of explains the technique that I use. I'm assuming he's using a similar technique. It's just because it's uh, so hard and I, I don't fully, it's just become so hard and I fully don't understand why. I also put in some pounds and stopped working out. I wanted all of these things so badly and now that I got them, I'm not sure what the problem is. I've watched many of your, your videos but couldn't find answers I was looking for. Hopefully you have some handy tip or book or something I can look up and try to find myself again. Has this happened to you before with such a strong intensity? Uh, anyways, keep on rocking SP. Cheers to you and Rodrigo. <laughs> so, uh, so here's here's the thing. Okay, let, let, let's let's break this down a little bit. I should have increased the font on this, so I didn't have to like squint to try and and read this email. But you know, there you go. But so so basically, w what's happened here is that uh, is that uh, our, our buddy here he has gotten his success, right? So he, he's done what he didn't think was possible, right? He, he's gotten in shape, he's increased his job, moved to Berlin, got married, like all of these things have happened. And now he, he's what, what we call fat and happy, right? This is where you get to this fat and happy state. And I think a lot of people like you could sort of think about this in terms of relationships, right? Because you see this all the time. You see people that when they were young and single, they were all fit and they were motivated and all this stuff. And then they find their, their mate and they, they start going out to dinner all the time. They start letting themselves go. And, and you know, you, you call them fat and happy. And, and, and usually it's, it's kind of funny because they're usually unhappy at that point, you know. But what it means is that they've, they've become complacent, right? And so I think there's a big difference between contentment and complacency, right? So we should all strive to be content, right? With, with what we have. Being content simply means being grateful, being thankful for what you have. I did a, a video recently on thankfulness, on what it means to be grateful. That's being content. But being complacent is, is losing the hunger and the drive and not expecting more from yourself. It's getting to a point where you just kind of give up and you just kind of, you, you don't care so much anymore. And it's easy to slip into that, especially if you've reached your goals, if you've already achieved what you want. So what ends up happening, I think a lot of times, is that we we have this huge motivation, this hunger, we wanna reach this thing, we really want this thing really bad. And I've had this at, at some points in my life when I really wanted to quit my job and I wanted to be independent and work on my own, I had a huge hunger, just a huge motivation and, and drive, even though I didn't always have the motivation. So the motivation is actually probably not the word to use, but I had a huge hunger and a huge drive and a huge desire to change my life. I really, really, really wanted to quit my job, to become financially independent, to become, quote, retired, to be able to be, be financially independent, essentially, right? And I also had a very huge drive 
uh, around that same time when I was overweight and I was out of shape, I really wanted to get in shape. I wanted to lose weight. I wanted to get back to the fit person that I like to be and where I can look myself in the mirror and feel good. Now, when I achieved those things, some of that drive disappeared. Now, it, it's, it's sort of natural for that to happen, right? And, and so it, it's a struggle. It's, it's currently a struggle for me because there's nothing in life right now that I really, really want really badly, right? And you can get to this place, right? If you're, if you're not making a lot of money and you want to become a software developer and you want your career or you want financial independence or you're looking for that, that partner in life or you know, to, to date or something like that and, and, and you don't have those things, you can be very hungry and very motivated and have a huge desire for that and that can, can fuel you. Even when you don't have the motivation, it can fuel you to, to reach that. But sometimes when you reach that destination, you're like, well, I, I, I'm, pretty, I'm, I'm pretty content, which, which is okay, but it's easy to become complacent, which is saying, I don't need to really achieve or strive for more. And it'd be very easy in my life for me to do that. In fact, like I said, I've done that from, at, at different times. So, so what can I say about this? <laughs> this is a struggle. I, I, I don't have a perfect answer for you because I struggle with this myself. So again, I'll, I'll relate it to myself. Right now, like I said, I don't have anything super major that I, I want. I've got some goals. And, and so what I have to do is I sort of have to force these goals. I, I sort of have to dream a little bigger, envision things a little bit bigger, right? And, and you walk this dangerous line, I believe, when you do this between losing your contentment and, and, and dreaming that big dream, right? So I'm content, I, but I've been content when I was poor, living in a, sleeping on a mattress on the floor because, uh, because I, I, I like my life, because I, <laughs> I like the opportunity that I have, because I have learned to be grateful and content in life. But I, I had a, a lot of visions, a lot of dreams, a lot of things that I desired, that I wanted a lot of hunger at that point. And so now I have to sort of manifest those things, right? So for example, let's take Simple Programmer here, right? I, I wanna reach more people, right? I have to think bigger, grander ideas. I have to think about, I wanna hit a million subscribers on YouTube, right? I'm about to hit 100,000 and that was the goal. And now I'm gonna think how awesome would it be to have a million subscribers and, and be reaching this many people and impacting these many lives? This is a big vision, right? How about bringing the revenue up to Simple Programmer, making it a million dollar or $10 million business, right? How about being able to employ more people, right? We've, we've got, basically like four full-time, we're gonna have maybe five full-time people at Simple Programmer, that's pretty damn awesome. Uh, Liz, what, if, what if we had a team of 10? What if we could impact that many lives and we have that many people that are, are, are shooting for our goal, right? So these are things to, to think about. And I can think about, you know, wouldn't it be cool to have like a several million dollar house or something like that? That doesn't, see, that doesn't really motivate me as much. So you gotta figure out what is the thing that motivates you more, right? Again, for me on the fitness side, it's like what if I could get down to the point where I, where people just think that I have to be on steroids because I'm so jacked, I'm so ripped being natural that that I, I, I'm reaching my peak. Like how awesome would that be to be on a magazine cover, right? So that, that's that's something that can motivate me. It's like, well, you, John, if, if you get to this point, well, you could create a, a, a fitness YouTube channel. You could be on a magazine cover. You could be in, in, a, in a movie. That Wouldn't that be cool inspiring people by getting that fit. So those are the things that motivate me. Again, writing a book, making it a bestseller, reaching a wider audience. I think that someday, if I continue to build Simple Program up, if I continue to increase my skills and be able to communicate and motivate and help people more and more, eventually I'll go mainstream. Eventually I'll go to the point where it's not just programmers, where my audience is, is the whole entire world. And that how awesome would that be, right? So I'm doing that now, like it, it's kind of funny because I haven't actually been thinking some of these things, I just came up with them in order to, to try to solve th this question. But now I'm getting inspired. Now, like I'm I'm watching my trailer video again. I'm gonna, <laughs> I actually watch that like you know every once in a while because it, it gets me inspired. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, this is uh, this is my trailer. It, it's I, I think it's cool. I like it. The, the beginning starts off a, a little bit uh, a little bit rough looking at the wall, but hey, it, it's it, it's it's motivating, right? It motivates me. But anyway, what I'm saying is that. This basically, like thinking about these things, it's already got me more inspired, right? And you gotta have, so you've just gotta come up with the, the things. Once you've achieved your goals, you gotta come up with new ones that will inspire you, that you will desire, right? And, and, and to some degree, you know, you're not, never gonna want it as bad as you used to, right? And, and that's okay. If, if you've reached some level of success and, and you don't need to, I mean, you don't need to push it to the moon, right? But you, you should still try to figure out, you know, how can 
can you, how can you be a bulldog, right? You can watch my video on, on how, you, how I became a bulldog. And, and, and really, I, I, I talk about how like, I'm always striving to improve myself. And, and that's really, you know, I have this really big goal of this vision of who I want to become, and I'm not there yet. <laughs> and so that pushes me forward. That makes me want to keep on attacking and keep on going and, and try to get there. So you've got to come up with that for your own self. And I will say this, you know, first of all, envision these things. Think about bigger goals. Think about bigger plans, right? Don't lose the contentment, but don't fall into that complacency. You've got to have hunger. You've got to have bigger. There's always something that you can find that you can desire that may motivate you. And like I said, for me, it's not so much material things anymore. It's about accomplishments. It's about improving myself. It's about reaching more people and affecting more lives and making more change in this world for, for the positive. That gets me fired up, right? You've got to find that thing that gets you fired up, right? Or, you know, I like to perform. I like to be on stage. Like, so how can I expand that platform? How awesome would it be to, like I said, be on a fitness magazine? Magazine or to be in a movie or something like that, right? These are things that, that you know, you're going to have your own personal motivations and inspirations, but dream big dreams. And that's, that's going to get you motivated again. And I also will say this last thing before I wrap it up, because I got to do a podcast interview here uh, on the, the Developer on Fire podcast. Pretty awesome podcast. Check it out if you haven't already. You're going to hit periods where you feel like nothing is happening, okay? And, and it's really important in those cases to tread water, to, to keep going, maintain, right? Don't get fat. Don't give, I mean, if you're not pushing forward and pushing the ball up the hill, just don't let it roll back. So, you know, keep at the maintenance level where you can sort of rest and tread water. I've talked about this a lot. And, and then, and then make that big push forward when you're ready, but don't lose all the ground that you've gained already. So I hope that makes sense to you. You know, I wish you well. This is something, like I said, that, that I struggle with, a lot of people struggle with, and I think you're going to struggle with your entire life. But you, you've, you've got to figure out these ways to re-motivate yourself, to, to dream bigger dreams, to, to go on and conquer and do the, the next big thing, but still keep that contentment. Because if you're not content and you're not grateful, then why the hell are you doing all this? If you're always just striving for the next bigger, uh, biggest thing, and, and you're never content with what you already have, well, you know, your life is going to be pretty miserable. Why, why, are you, why are you doing all this stuff? A lot of things to balance. Like I said, I haven't figured this whole thing out myself. This is one of those areas where, where I struggle, right? Sometimes I, I struggle for that motivation, but I'm still making progress. I'm still moving forward. I'm not hitting it as hard as I used to. I'm not, but but do I need to? That, that's the question. Like, you know, I, I got to find the balance. And like I said, I'm a big believer that there are seasons in life and that there is a season where you got to bust ass and work your, your ass off in order to get what you want. But there is seasons where you got to have a steady and slow growth. And I feel like for me, I'm in that season right now. And maybe I'll, I'll ramp, I ramp it up from time to time, but I, I don't think I'll ever go back to that full on 80 hours a week, just crazy type of of work again because I don't need to. I've already paid the dues to get where I am, where I have enough momentum. And so maybe you're at that point and then maybe you need to figure out a new path. And maybe, you, you know, I feel guilty sometimes, I'll be honest with you, because I'm not doing as much work as I used to do. But in, in some ways, I'm having, well, not in some ways, I'm definitely having more impact. So there, there, there's that to think about as well. So you, things have to change. Things have to become sustainable for you. But but you got to keep on moving the ball forward. So, so think those uh, bigger dreams and, and, and keep going. And congratulations on the success that you've had. I'm glad that I could be a part of it. If you want to get success for yourself <laughs> and you haven't already, uh, I can't promise you success, but I can promise you that I will try and help you to, to show you the way. So click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you next time. Take care.